In this video, we will learn how to calculate the measures of central tenancy for different college costs. I'm Abby with NextGen Personal Finance, and we will practice finding the mean, median, and mode. It's useful to find the measures of central tenancy as it condenses a data set down to one representative value to summarize all the information, which is helpful when working with large amounts of data. Let's look at an example. I will work through this question, and after each section, you will get a chance to practice your calculations with a different data set. The table provided here includes data for the in-state four-year undergrad tuition costs per school year for some state universities in Massachusetts. They ask us to find the mean, median, and mode of the data. Let's first calculate the mean. The mean is just the average of all of these values, which we can calculate by adding each data point together, then dividing by how many data points we have. In this case, if I add all of these values in a calculator, the total sum is equal to $99,279. Then, since there are nine schools, I will divide the sum by nine, which gives me $11,031. This means that the mean, or the average, cost of tuition for these nine state schools in Massachusetts is $11,031. Before we move on to find the median and mode, Go ahead and try calculating the mean for this data set, which is the cost of books and supplies for the same nine schools. Pause the video here and practice calculating. Next up, let's find our median. The median of a data set is the middle value of all the numbers once they are ordered from least to greatest. First, I'm going to rearrange the prices. We see that least is over here and greatest is over here. Then I need to find the middle value. For this data set, the middle number is $10,849, as there are four data points on the left and four on the right. Quick note, if there are an even number of data points and you have two middle values, go ahead and calculate the mean of the two middle numbers and that result will be your median. It's your turn again. What is the median of the cost for books and supplies at these nine schools? Lastly, let's find the mode. The mode is the number that comes up the most often in the data set. Let's refer back to our list from least to greatest. It looks like there's only one repeated value in this data set. So our most common tuition cost or our mode is $10,600. What is the mode of your data set for the cost of books and supplies? Here's a recap. We found the mean, or average, by adding all the data points together, then dividing by the number of data points. In this example, the mean tuition cost for these nine state schools in Massachusetts is $11,031. We found the median by reordering all the data points from least to greatest, then finding the middle data point, which is $10,849. And we found the mode, which is the most common number in the data set, which is 10,600. These measures of central tenancy gives us a little snapshot of these state school tuition costs in Massachusetts. Go ahead and try the practice problems on your worksheet to continue practicing these calculations. You got it.